guys, it's been a minute since I did a whole get ready to chat with me. So we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video by taking this little thing off. <laughs> I look crazy. I am doing um, a Get Ready to Chat with Me uh, hair edition with Wild African. And I'm going to be uh, just using this wig right here. It's upside down. Here you go. First, what I'm going to do is just cut the lace off of the back. That's done. And then we have the lace on the front. Very interesting color. Honestly, online, I didn't think that the color was this way. But it is a very interesting color. I think I love the cut. It's been a while since I've been living. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm actually just making two years wow I just wasn't on the whole time so in the meantime I'm gonna flat iron my hair this may will make two years since I've been here in Atlanta so if you're new to my channel I pretty much used to live in New York I'm from New York born and raised New York, New York, just say it. but now I'm in Atlanta it's been a very interesting ride okay and I'm saying that because when I first moved here I was just like I really want to just get away from New York a little break or whatever but I'm not gonna lie fast forward a couple of months later I was like this place is whack it's boring I hate it and you know what on TV you hear all these people hyping up Atlanta Atlanta's where it's at Atlanta is blah 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 or whatever whatever I didn't come here with those expectations because before that I was already coming to Atlanta like once a month like I was coming very frequently okay so I already knew what I was in store for when it came to Atlanta but I think visiting is more fun than it is living here and living here I was just like oh my god I'm over this I'm not gonna last I'll probably move back to New York in like two to three years or whatever fast forward a year and a half which is this month today um it's not so bad it's not so bad you know and I think the reason why it's not so bad is because like I started to meet friends I started to meet people yes I have part of my family here but I'm meeting more people and doing more things you know and I always tell people because people from New York they always write me and they're like oh I want to move to Atlanta because it's cheap and blah 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 and I'm like well you can go ahead and move to Atlanta but just know what you see in TV on TV is not what's going to be in real life like and it's not talking down in Atlanta it's just TV makes Atlanta look more than what it is you know what I'm saying like in real life once you live in here it's kind of like you know what I'm saying Don't get me wrong, it's popping okay and I haven't gone out honestly I shouldn't even be judging because I haven't really gone out gone out to be like oh you know this is not how it really is or whatever but it is popping don't get me wrong but i think when i have visitors that come into town they're so hyped about atlanta and then when they see what it is they're like like you know what i'm saying so all right if you guys know i hate my side part on my left side i really do it's ugly i think it makes me look ugly i feel ugly <laughs> so i'm gonna have to try to make this um make this work do I want to change the part? I might want to change the part. I'm just not, I'm not a left side type of girl. I'm just not. Uh, if it's not on the right side, it makes the whole entire hairstyle look ugly to me. So, so I'm going to start hot combing this down. So, um, yeah. So, with, I think, like, it just takes time. Like, and that's with anywhere that you move to. It's going to take time. I know you're like, duh. You're, like, you're not going to move there and be super ha happy with it right away, you know. You're going to have to, I mean, you can. I always say Atlanta's one of those places where you have to find your own fun. Like you can't come here and say like, oh, it's about to be popping, let's just go, da 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 No, like you have to go and find your fun. Like you have to be planned out a little bit more. That's just based on my experience though. So don't sit here and be like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But I think things should be open a little bit later. And I'm not even a late time kind of girl. Like I'm not even the kind of person to be like, oh, I need to stay out. But when you kind of lock everything down, it makes me want to be like, no, you need to be open just because I feel like it needs to be open. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing right now is I kind of need to flatten out the top, but I need to actually like separate it in layers because if I try to do it all in one, like just keep combing it, it's not going to flatten itself out. So I really, I'm trying to just focus on doing that right now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. I just feel like friends are important okay meeting people you really have to get out there and i feel like for me like i've met like my friends well i've, I've had friends here already but whoa that was hard as hell what, what the hell See, this is why i came to get ready with me because i do dumb stuff like this my hair is wet what am i doing 
you really have to get out there and just meet people. I feel like you have to put in that effort. Like that's the choice that you made when you decided to move here. And then what makes it worse is I don't have like a typical nine to five. So I'm not really around people to sit here and say like, oh, let me go out with John and Susie. Let me be real. Tia and Maya. Let me go out with Tia and Maya later on after work. Or oh, what are you doing this weekend? Like I don't have a typical nine to five where I could do that. I'm not really around people. And what makes it worse is I'm not even in the city. So it's like I'm really on my own as far as being in this city that I'm in. Really, I have to meet people based off of where, where I go places, networking, meetup groups, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. The people that I have met down here though, they're just amazing people to be honest. And I wouldn't have met them had I came out of my comfort zone. Like, I remember the first day <laughs> when I was having my brunch, I had to, um, you know, write people like, oh, do you wanna be a uh, part of, ah! Oh, do you wanna be a part of the panel? Uh, making sure I don't got a hole up there. Woo, that was hot. You know, it was my brunch. I had to make sure that tickets sold and things went the way that I needed to be. So I remember I had to write people. <laughs> and I was so nervous to write people because I'm like, they're not going to respond back. I had to write people. I mean, a lot of people didn't get back to me. But the few that did, they were, even if they didn't show up, they still make, made an effort to come, you know, hang out with me. And I made a move a little bit different. And I'm not trying to shit on Atlanta. That's not my goal. I love Atlanta. It makes me work a little bit harder than what I want to work for as far as having a social life. But you know what, this is a good experience because had I not had this, I'd still be stuck in my same ways that I was in when I was in New York that I really wasn't really, you know, super happy with. So, eh. What I do love about Atlanta, I think what everyone loves about Atlanta is the inexpensive apartments and housing. This wig is really big. Why did it give me big wigs? This wig is huge. Experience that I've had here versus New York. Like when I go back to New York, I'm like, okay, it's time to go back to Atlanta. Like it's that kind of feeling. Like I can't be here for too long. Like I have to get a break and go back to New York. But I do, there are a lot of things that I love about Atlanta that I'm starting to realize now that I didn't see or recognize before when I first moved here. All right, I, I can't, I gotta move the part. Yeah, cause I can't mess with that part. That part on the left side, I'm not feeling cute with that. Let me just play some music right now because I gotta focus on trying to flatten this top right now. Yes, this is my part. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting though. Now that I kind of got my part going the right way that I wanted to go, now I gotta just figure out fixing um thingy. There are a lot of things that annoy the crap out of me when it comes to Georgia, like as far as the driving, like ugh, like the highways down here are disgusting. Like it drives. I'm always complaining about it on Instagram because I just I have to let this bit of information out. Like I just need to complain. Like I freaking hate that you'll be driving randomly in a lane that looks like a regular two lane and then out of nowhere, boom, turning lane. You're gonna either crash or you have to go right. There's no way around it. That, yo, that drives me so nuts. It makes me so upset. Here, it's like, yo, if you get lost or go the wrong way, just add an extra 20, 15 minutes to your GPS because it's gonna take you that long. And I'm telling you, like, it gets me so mad. Like, I always complain about it and everyone's always like, it's not that serious. And I'm like, it is. It is. If you told me it was a turning lane, I wouldn't be in this problem. Like, I can't tell you how much accidents I almost got in because it ended up being a last minute turning lane or a last minute exit. You're just driving straight and boom, exit 25. Like, what the fuck? Like, it gets me so mad. Ooh, see, this part looks so much better. The whoop chile. The other thing I hate about Georgia, I'm not gonna lie, the food is awful. Like, I order Postmates and Uber Eats so much. It's actually really bad. I really feel guilty about doing it every time I do it. Especially when I order a certain amount and I'm just like, girl, you just wasted a lot of money. I just feel like whenever you order takeout, just expect that it's either gonna be horrible or it's gonna be amazing. There's no in between, you know, we're just like, okay, let me just add my own sauce. I mean, like I said, this could happen anywhere, but I feel like for me, it happens the most while I'm here in Georgia and it pisses me the hell off. Cause I'd be like, you know, everything closes early and I'm not even a foodie like that. I'm usually like, uh, it's bland, I could deal with it. No, like it's nasty. I ordered Domino's one time and I just don't get how you mess up pizza. It was literally like, I know this is about to be, it's supposed to be a pro Atlanta video and I'm going off, but food is a hit or miss. So I go to the same places. 
I ain't trying to try on wear new. And when I do try somewhere new, I have to do research. But other than that, I don't have a problem with Georgia. You know, it's starting to wear on me. And like I said, like there are fun things to do. I'm not a club girl. So if you are a club girl, you're probably like, bitch, there's mad things for you to do when you're down here. <sighs> I'm not a club girl, so I ain't going club. So if that's what you consider fun, go right ahead. But for me, that's not fun. So once in a while, I'll go to a club. If it's like for an event, a birthday or something, but I'm not a club girl. You will never see me just say, let's go to the club on Saturday. Cause I won't. Okay. <laughs> so remember this side's supposed to be longer than this side. Wait. Oh shoot, it's still longer. Kinda got it to where I want it, but it's not 100% there, <laughs> but it's going to do. Yeah, so don't get me wrong. I can see myself being a little Georgia peach or a little Georgia man or something. Like, it's not bad. Like, don't get me wrong. I know I might sound like I'm complaining about Georgia, but I've learned to love it. And I've learned to, like, recognize the, the greatness that is here. Okay? It's just like I said. Girl, you gotta have energy. Oh, you gotta have energy. Like, you can't be like, no, I'm not going out. Shit gotta come to me. Fun gotta happen here. Like, you have to actually go out. So... Yo, but I did put dating on the back burner a little bit because I was just like, listen, everyone's creepy, everyone's weird. But I was on a dating app, I think I told you guys that. And um, I had met a couple of people, I mean on the app, but I never actually took it to where I met them in person. <laughs> I never took it to where I met them in person or whatever. I was like, you know what, let me just step back and give it a break because I was getting so much messages and honestly, after a while, too much messages get kind of annoying. So I haven't, I kind of deleted my profile and I was like, eh, let me come back to this when I got time or when I actually do care about dating because right now I don't care. I do care, but I don't care. You get my drift? This is where I got it to be so far. I had to go back and really trim this side up because it was just not looking like cute. Oh, Chile, it was looking stupid. So I got to, I got to, pluck these edges because <laughs> I can't walk around like this this is way too full for my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and pluck this off camera and then I'm gonna be right back all right so I just plucked this thing <laughs> other than that though I like Atlanta so like I said this wasn't a video to bash um <laughs> Atlanta it really wasn't but it just take it does take a lot of adjusting coming from New York you know like it's two very completely, completely different places. Like, I mean, duh. You just have to stick it out. You can't be lazy. You have to actually be like, all right, so for this part right here, you guys know I like to, I can't, like, honestly, I could do wigs with no, like, baby hairs or anything, but sometimes when it's just like, it just drives me nuts. So I'm gonna just curve out a little bit right here. All in all guys, I I like Atlanta, okay? I'm just talking shit, you guys know how I am, so. But I like Atlanta, I will definitely stay here and enjoy it some more. It just is a huge adjustment, and like I said for my past videos, you guys have heard me like complain and be like, oh my God, I wanna go back to New York, like you know, but I'm getting a little adjusted right now, so it just took a little bit of time as anything would but yeah this is the end result of my hair I put a little bit of concealer on the part because it was it looked fine but I just wanted to add that more like lifelike touch you guys know I like that realistic look <laughs> so um yeah actually the color isn't so bad it's not as bad as it looked when I first took it out like it actually looks kind of cute it took a while to for me to get used to it I love how it looks on me 
once it's been done and styled. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, this wig is from Wow African, in case you were wondering. All the information, y'all, is always down below. Always. Okay, I'm stressing that because lately, everyone has been asking me, where's this, where's that, where's this? It's down below. Everything is down below, okay? So I'll see you guys in my next video. Please leave comments down below. Like, thumbs up, subscribe. The whole nine yards, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video, and bye, guys.